Hey there, my name is Jamie with Your Guide to Style and today I am back with my Wear This, Not That video. Y'all loved this video so much when I did it a few weeks ago, I thought I would do it again. And today I am using denim trends for the season in my video. So there are a lot of denim trends out there and I thought this would be a fun way to kind of contrast them, show you what I think would be a little bit more practical in the Wear This section things that are trending for the season that are be, they'll be a little bit easier for you to put into your wardrobe and wear. And then the not that are things that are trending or might be a little more of a fad, which a fad is something that comes in and goes really quickly as a trend. And so that section, I'm just showing you a contrast, something I think that might not be as practical, might be a little bit harder for you to style, and also will probably not last as a trend for multiple seasons. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about denim trends. Before I get into the details, I just want to say if you love my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And also, I would love for you to hit that thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on how you feel about this video, and leave me a comment below. I love your interaction and it helps my channel grow. Also, I want to say I'm going to link my last video, which is What to Wear Q&A, which explains to you what you can do to get a question or suggestion put in that weekly video that I'm starting. And I will be doing my first question and answer, real question and answer that's lengthy this week. So check that out and see what you think. So let's go ahead and talk about my first wear this, not that selection. And it's going to be mom jeans versus dad jeans. And yes, that's kind of a play on words, but they are very opposite and they are both trending right now. I think the mom jeans, the reason why I chose this as the wear this is it's a little bit more practical, a little bit easier to put in your closet right now to go with some of the styles you already have. I've done it and it was a whole lot easier than I thought it would be and it was a whole lot more comfortable than I thought it would be. And so the mom jeans, is a, they're a little bit confusing, I think. So mom jeans are a super high-waisted jean. They're a little bit looser through the body section and a little bit loose through the leg. They are more of a either, so the old the more vintage mom jean is a tapered leg. So when you look at pictures of women in the 90s that wore mom jeans, they were tapered leg. You can find them in stores that are more straight leg, which I think is maybe more of a modern mom jean, and or you can find now you're seeing a lot of the tapered versions. And I did get a tapered version, which I was fine just wearing it with sneakers or booties or whatever. It still looked good like a straight leg jean. They are a lot different than skinnies if you have not moved away from that. So just try one and see what you think. But I think they're going to be around for a while and they already have been and I do think it's a better option than the dad jean because it does fit a curvy figure a little bit better. It makes us look a little bit more feminine than the dad jean. So let's talk about the dad jean. The dad jeans are a much straighter cut. They are a little bit slouchy and oversized. I did find a crop one that was called a dad jean that I thought looked a little bit better than the other two. And she has it on with a heel here, so I, I thought that was a little bit better too. But these have more of a masculine feel. They are part of that baggy jean trend. And even if they're not called dad jeans, if you find something that's really masculine, doesn't have a lot of shape, slouchy, and has that straight, loose leg to it, then it's probably more of a dad jean style. And I'm not a huge fan of this trend. You might be, and you might love this. So let me know below if you do. I do think it's more of a fad. It's not going to be around for very long. It's going to, I think it's going to go out. But if you love it, let me know and let me know how you wear it because I would really appreciate that and someone else might too. So number two on wear this, not that is longer denim skirts versus mini skirts. So mini skirts have been around for a while. So I want to talk about the wear this longer length skirts. And so these denim skirts are going to be either knee length, they're going to be um, midi or maxi. So you have a few different options here and you can find a lot of these out there. And if you love denim skirts and have worn denim skirts for a long time, I hope you hung on to yours. I had a longer denim skirt back in the late 90s, early 2000s, and I didn't hold on to it. Like I'm kicking myself now for not holding on to it because it was, I remember it, I wore it all the time. It was really great. So this is a fun trend. I think that you can add to your closet that wouldn't change a whole lot of how you would wear it with even a mini skirt. So you could throw on a sweater and some booties with this and it looks really cute, just like you would with a 
mini. And so I chose the not that and the minis because I, I, I think they are still available. And of course, they are not as popular, but they're out there. And people, us people that wear mini skirts love denim minis. So I do think that the longer length is more flattering, more practical, and will be around for a while. So you could add that as a fun piece and just don't worry about the mini skirts. But if you do love the mini skirts, still wear them, wear them transitioning into fall with some tights and some booties and a sweater, and you're still going to be on trend. Okay, so the third one, this is my favorite one to talk about because um, it is something that was very difficult for me to do that I finally figured out how to do. Uh, just to be honest with you, the denim on denim trend. And so this is also called the Canadian tuxedo, which if you are not familiar with that term, it is a term that was given to wearing a denim jacket or shirt with denim jeans. And so this actually came from a situation in 1951 with Bing Crosby, who was refused entry into a hotel in Vancouver, British Columbia, because he was wearing a denim top and denim bottoms. And that is on Wikipedia, and I thought that was really funny and really cool. So if you didn't know that, now you do. But the execution of the denim on denim, I don't think is as easy as a lot of people say it is. And I think there are good ways to execute it and easier ways to execute it. And then I think there are a couple that you just need to think about and, and maybe not do. <laughs> so the first thing I wanna say, and you'll see in the photos, that if you do some of the same washes, so if you have a light wash with a light wash, which I'll show you my outfit in a minute, that's what I did. But this is, I think, the best way to do it. So find washes that are very similar but may not match exactly, that look good together, which you can look at them together, put them side by side, and you can go, uh, that looks good, or no, that doesn't look good. Just kind of go by your instinct here. Um, and then opposites. So if you had a really dark denim jacket, that was a dark denim, but not maybe a dark rinse, but just as a dark denim, and then you wanted to wear a lighter denim on the bottom, and you kind of have that opposite color, I think that looks good as well. And then the easiest way to do this, which is how I have always done it, is to wear colored denim with regular blue denim. So if you do a black denim jacket with light ripped up blue jeans, you've got a Canadian tuxedo, when you, you've done a colored denim, which is the black in my mind, and then the blue denim together. I have a pink denim jacket, I have a white denim jacket, and that makes it easier for me if I just wanna throw something on because I wanna cover my arms because I need to be a little bit warmer and it's cooler outside. I'll do that if I have regular jeans on. I don't always grab my denim jackets with, you know, my blue denim jackets with my blue denim because I really think that you have to think about how those go together. So. That is the easiest way is to mix colored denim with the blue, but that's really not the original Canadian tuxedo. So the way that is not good in the execution is for you to choose colors that are completely off. So if you did darker denim with an acid, so you have darker washed jeans on and you have an acid washed shirt, denim shirt on, those probably aren't gonna look that good together unless that acid wash is dark like your dark jeans. But you really don't wanna do things that are completely off from each other. Another example would be like a really dark rinse and another dark rinse on the bottom and they don't go together, they don't match, they don't look good together. And so, those I think you avoid. So what you're really looking for is cohesion. So you want a cohesive look. And I didn't mention this in the wear this. I'll go ahead and show you my outfit because this is what I did. And I did this because I really love the same color together. And then adding a pop of color or a stripe or a print or something underneath it to kind of break it up. And that's why I chose this outfit. These were two different pieces by two different manufacturers. And I just put, you know, the striped turtleneck underneath it. And I thought it was a really fun look. And I struggle with this. I struggle with putting the denim together. And I know I'm spending a little bit more on this section because this trend is a lot harder to style. 
And, but I think there are certain ways you can make it look really good and really on trend. And this was my favorite way to do it, just to add that color to kind of break it up underneath the, the jacket that I chose. Okay, so let's move on to number four. The wear this, not that for this one is boot cut or flare jeans versus wide leg. And I'll start with a boot cut and flare jeans. The reason why I chose these as my wear this is because I do think they are more universally flattering. I think they are practical. They have been around a long time and now they are trending. You're able to find a little bit more options in this area. And a new thing that's on trend that I have seen is the looser flare leg, which I have in the photo here with the ripped knee. And this is, I think a good option if you want a more relaxed flare jean, but you don't want to go completely wide leg. This I thought was a good option. And I did not even know that was a thing. So when I saw that, I thought that was a really cool idea. I do prefer the slimmer fit for most body types. You know, it's slimmer through the leg and kicks out at the bottom. Boot cut looks good on just about everyone. I think pear shapes particularly look great in a flare, one that's a little bit wider to help balance the upper body. And so just play around with it and see what works for you. But I do think this is a good option over the wide legs. So let's talk about wide legs. Wide legs are very, um, I think, specific to even height and shape and things like that. I don't think they're universally flattering, universally flattering, if I said that right. They are a little bit harder to style with other pieces. Since they are so wide, it's just a completely different look. And I do think that they are available, but I do think that they are probably going to go out. I don't think this is going to be the thing that keeps trending. So I just think the other option will last a little bit longer in your closet. So now let's talk about my last wear this, not that, which is the modern skinny versus the skinny, skinny jean or legging jean. And so skinny jeans are so controversial right now. People are thinking that they are totally out of style. Nobody wants them. But when you go to shop, they're everywhere. So I think people are still wearing them. I'm still wearing mine, although I have moved a little bit more towards the relaxed fit because it does fit my casual kind of relaxed lifestyle now. And they are, the relaxed fit are a little bit more comfortable, although some of them to me are not as flattering. But anyway, the modern skinny, let me explain the modern skinny to you. So the modern skinny is actually a jean that is somewhat in between a skinny jean and a straight leg jean. So if you look at these jeans, the leg is very slim all the way down. And what they are called in stores usually is slim, a slim jean, or they might be called a slim straight. So this is exactly what it is, but the leg is a little bit skinnier than a straight leg. It's slimmer. And I love this on lots and lots of body shapes. And I think that it's a great option if you want to still do that skinny, but you still want to get involved in some of those trends. This is the best way to do it. And I will link all of these products below if you guys want to shop any of them, because I do think the modern skinny is the best option for a skinny jean this season. The not that is the skinny jean or legging jean. And I do think that this is something that our skinny jeans did not used to be this skinny. There are legging jeans, but it looks like most of the skinny jeans are like the legging jeans nowadays. And so this is not trending this season, but I do still think it has its place. So yes, you could continue to wear this, but I did want to mention that I found a pair that had stirrups at the bottom, which was totally 80s. And I just wanted to know what you think of those <laughs> and if you would actually wear something like that. I think the way they styled it with the pump was a little sexy. So, um, but let me know what you think. And I do think that these are not as comfy anymore to us as the other options we have. Um, a lot of them you'll find pull on for the leggings and, you know, just different options like that. So if you want to wear an oversized sweater with these and some tall boots, I still think that's a great option. But that this was my not that because I just think the other option in the modern skinny is a little bit better. 
So those are all my trends that I chose, and I hope you enjoyed them. I would love to know your feedback of what you think. If you're already wearing some of these, you know, if you have a certain way you love to style them, any of that, let me know if you have any questions also, and check out that Q&A video and the description below and find out what you need to do to become a part of that video. It's gonna be a fun series. So thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time.